Good morning, boys and girls. Today, this is what we are going to do in independent work. We are going to be practice more repeated addition. I know you're becoming experts on this. So let's see what are we doing today. Remember a repeated addition, we have to pay attention to the groups. And you just write how many are in each group. So let's look at this picture and the baskets. How many apples are there in each group? Excellent. If you said three, a pat on your back. Very good. So let's write it. There are three apples in each group. So now that we know that, let's write the addition. First group, three, plus the second group, other three, plus the third group, other three, plus the fourth group, other three. So how many are there in all? Three, six, nine, twelve. Or three plus three, six. Plus other three is seven, eight, nine. Plus other three is ten, eleven, twelve. So that means that we have twelve, and then we write it as a sentence there are twelve apples all together. Okay, let's do one more example. Now let's look at these crayons. Let me move it a little bit down. There it is. So, there, let's read the sentence. There are mm, crayons in each group. So, how many crayons are in each group? Excellent. If you said five, give me five. Excellent. There are five crayons in each group. So now let's write our addition. In the first box or group, there are five. In the other box, other five. In the other box, other five. So how many are there in all? Five plus five, ten. Plus other five, it's ten. We begin with ten and we continue other five. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. So there are fifteen crayons in all. And in the sentence we write, there are fifteen crayons all together. That's all that you are doing in your independent work today to review repeated addition. Now, remember I will give dojo points to the ones that write the multiplication. Because remember we're learning all this because in like two weeks we're going to start memorizing and practicing the times tables, the multiplications. Okay? So, remember all multiplications or times tables are a repeated addition. That's something you must remember. Always, a multiplication is a repeated addition. The numbers repeat and you add the numbers. So, in this one, 5 plus 5 plus 5, it means that we have the 5 three times and that equals 15. 5 times 3 equals 15. Okay? Or we can do it backwards too. Instead of saying that we have that we have 5 times 3, we can say 3 times 5, and it equals 15. 
because we can say it two times. Here we have the five three times. That's the first one. Number five, five, five. The five is repeated three times, okay? Or three times we repeat the five. Or there are three groups with five inside, okay? You can say it the th two ways. You can say first the groups, and there are three groups, three groups, and there are five inside, or you can say there are five crayons inside each group, and you repeat it three times. So either way is correct. It is like when we do an addition. Two plus three is five, and if we just turn them around, three plus two is five. Okay, I know my video was backwards, I just saw it, <laughs> but okay, it's the same as in additions. 2 plus 3 or 3 plus 2 is 5. In multiplications, it's the same. If we just turn around the numbers, the answer is the same. Okay, so let's go and do your independent work. This is what we are practicing today, but if you write the multiplication sentence, you get dojo points, okay? So that's it, boys. Let's go and do your work.